Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Dr. Muhammad Ali and uh, I'm the focal person for the internship uh, research skills in biochemistry and biotechnology. And we are offering the five modules, five components for this research training. One is the molecular biology, then the bioinformatics, then the cell biology, and the biochemical assay and the uh, in vivo studies. We are almost covering all the components that are utilized in the biomedical research. So I think uh, the students of all life sciences can join this training. Uh, here I am Muhammad Talha, alumni of Mammalian Molecular Genetics Lab. I am going to introduce an opportunity for BS, MPhil, PhD students to learn and improve their research skills at a Huwath first uh, under the supervision of Dr. Muhammad Ali. Opportunity includes techniques of molecular biology, cell biology, bioinformatics, biochemical analysis, and in vivo studies. Dr. Muhammad Ali is the principal investigator of this training program. Under his supervision, we are running three labs Mammalian Molecular Genetics Lab, Animal Cell Control Lab, and Laboratory Animal Research Center. This is our Animal Cell Culture Lab, in which we grow different cancerous and non cancerous cell lines. The purpose is to check the drug effect on cancer cell lines and also for the production of monoclonal antibodies. We also study signaling pathways that are important in breast cancer, diabetes, liver injury and liver fibrosis. This is Biosafety Cabinet Class 2. It provides protection to the sample and also provides personal protection to the scientists. The subculturing of the cell and drug treatment is done in this cabinet. This is carbon dioxide incubator. It provides 5% carbon dioxide and 37 degrees centigrade temperature which is necessary for the growth of cancer cell lines. This is inverted microscope. It is used to observe the cells. Let's see. We perform DNA, RNA and protein extraction here. DNA are performed by PCR and jet lipophrasis and then we take picture by jet documentation. RNA is analyzed by qPCR and data is analyzed by software CFS. Proteins are analyzed by SDS page. Furthermore, we perform antibacterial activity of different phytochemicals here. We also perform in vitro antioxidant assays like DBPH, PrEP, SOAR, POR, catalase activity. All the chemicals required to perform these antioxidant assays are present here. These are different protocols which we follow for performing these experiments. We prepare tens and hundreds of solutions in large and small quantities. This is laminar flow. And here we perform antibacterial assay in this cabinet. Moreover, our high tech and central biotech lab is highly equipped with quality instruments which includes spectrophotometer used for quantitative analysis, ELISA plate reader used for quantitative analysis, HPLC used for identifying and purifying the individual component of the mixture, which also includes the gel electrophoresis, gel documentation, spectrophotometer, rotary evaporator, shaking incubator and high quality microscope.
Animal Research Center. Why in vivo animal studies are important? Cell lines give a good clue about drug effect and role of each signaling pathway in the physiology. But in vivo studies are always required to get confirmation of the drug effect. The experimental mice are kept in this center. All the conditions necessary for mice survival such as 25 degrees centigrade temperature, 12 hour dark and light period are maintained in this center. These mice are used for drug testing because these are time and cost efficient laboratory animals. These mice have gestation time 21 days and the number of babies vary from 4 to 11. These mice are adult after 3 weeks. These mice are numbered according to the toll number that we are assigned to them. Here different animals model are prepared for FCS model and liver injury model. And the drug that is given to mice through either intraperitoneal way or intragastric. 